Hello, welcome to Style with Informal Mother. You're welcome to my channel. And today I want to show you how to cut a three layered full circle flare. So it's a tear skirt, but you have one, two, three layers. So for this particular tutorial, I want to use three different kind of Ankara fabric. Um, like you see on the table, different colors. And I'll need that three yards of fabric. So I have one yard of each of the fabrics. But note you can use one unique fabric for the three tiers. But I want to make mine a bit sassy and you know something really pretty. And that's why I decided to use three different fabrics. So you need three yards. You also need lining. You need your scissors, you need your chalk and your tape. So for the lining, you can use about one meter. It depends on the type of lining you're using. I'm using suit lining, so one meter is okay. So if you're new to my channel, you want to subscribe. You don't want to miss my videos as they drop. So for you to be able to cut this um, tear full circle skirt, you will need your measurement. This is where it gets tricky. This particular skirt needs proper calculation you need to be accurate with your calculations and you need to get it right it can be very tricky so you want to watch this video to the end so first and foremost i need to determine how long i want my skirt so i want my skirt to be 24 inches long okay and i want it to be a one size fit a large skirt so that a size 12 14 16 can wear an 18 because any size above that should not be wearing a full circle tear skirt because it's going to make them look bulky but it depends some people can pull it off but it's preferable that um you know that size um range 12 to 18 wears the skirt and it looks good so if you don't know your size charts um don't worry stay tuned to my channel very soon i'm going to be doing a video on how to know sizes uk us sizes and how you can also make your own size chat, especially if you want to go into ready to wear clothing. So now I said the skirt is going to be 24 inches. So first you need to do this arithmetic. So you need to divide 24 by three because it's three layers. So 24 divided by three gives us eight inches long. So if you cut three, eight inches, it's going to be 24. But remember now that this skirt has to be layered. So you're going to be losing some inches as you sew. So you want to take that into consideration. So I'm going to be leaving one inch for each of the layers. So instead of eight inches, you're thinking of plus one. Then you don't also want to forget that you need to fold the bottom and you need to also add, you know, do the joining, which is going to lose, another, you're going to lose another one inch. So another one. So that means you need to cut your flare at least 10 inches long each of your flare needs to be 10 inches long and that's what i have here i have already cut my flare and they are each 10 inches long but you can do 10 and a half inches is also fine but you don't want to make it too long that it loses its form okay so if you don't know how to cut a flare if it's your first time on my channel i did a tutorial um on how to cut the perfect circle flare so you want to watch that you don't want to miss that tutorial it is simple and straightforward so these are the flare i've cut so once you know you have to cut three different flare you're almost there the next thing you want to also do is that your flares will not be the same circumference yeah how do you know which circumference each flare needs to be so the first thing you want to determine is the hip remember i said the skirt i want to cut is going to be a one size fit that means I'm going to take into consideration the hip of the largest of the size sizes. So I want a size UK size 12 to 18 to be able to wear this. So a UK size 18 hip is um 42. Okay, 40, 42, and for a uh, size 18 is 45, 46. Okay, so that means the first circumference of my flare needs to be at least 46 inches wide because it needs to go through your hip there will not be a zip i don't know if i remember to say that at the beginning but i'm going to be adding an elastic to the top of this skirt so you will need an elastic for the skirt a three i'm going to be using a three inches elastic band i think 
I dropped that somewhere, but I'm going to bring it out. You're going to see that. So we're going to be using a three inches elastic band. So this is a three inches elastic band. You need one meter or one yard of that. Okay. So now when you're cutting your flare, the first flare should be at least the hip, the largest hip measurement, which is 46 in this case. The second flare should be a little bigger, a little wider at the base. So I'm going to be doing the second layer, 50 inches. Okay. And the last one, I'll make it almost 60 inches wide. So as you cut it, when you fold into four, the first one I did 11 inches wide. The second, that's the second frame. That for the first one. The second one, I made it 13 and the last layer i made it 15. so when you open that's 15 times 4 13 times 4 11 times 4. so each of the circumference of the flare is different from each from the other so as it goes downwards it becomes wider but note the size remains the same the wideness or the width is the same what changes is the width of the circumference because it's going to be a layered skirt so as you go downwards it's supposed to expand more to form to give you the perfect silhouette for your full circle um, tear skirt so once that is done once you've seen how to cut that if you don't know as i said watch the video on how to cut the flare so you just make them wider as you go as you progress so the next thing you want to do once you've gotten your flare you have your one uh, meter elastic band that you can get anywhere online from the online shops what you want to do is now cut your flare so for my flare what i cut is like an a line um or a 180 flare how did i achieve this what i did was to get my flare okay I got the flare, they are my lining, and I folded triangularly like this. So you don't fold into four like you cut your regular flare. What you do is you fold this way, okay, like a triangle. Then I cut the first, the base, I used one of the flare. So I used the, the first flare, which is the green one which is about 46 inches wide that was the first flare so you open this into make it into two folding because the, the line is into two and this is the opening so i just placed this way and i checked at what point i could get the total width so that's the first um that's the base of the of the lining so just cut around the lining using the circumference of the first uh, flare so that was what i did and i was able to get this out so you can use any lining you want you can use suit lining like i'm doing or you can use the cotton lining anyone works so the very first the base is the width of the first flare but when you place this on this like that you will notice that the is a bit longer i did that on purpose so when i'm going to be folding in i'm going to pleat the top of the lining to fit into this and as i go at the second layer to i'm going to pleat the lining a little to be able to fit into my flare so before i start doing that the lining i cut was 16 inches long remember our skirt is 24 inches long so i do not bother about the last layer and this is because i would all i would need to do is to add this last flare to the bottom of the lining so i also pleat you can notice that it's a bit wider than the flare so all i will need to do is pleat a little to fit into this so this will complete the length of my skirt that, so this 16 inches long uh, lining that we have now, what I'm going to do is to divide that into two. 
okay so i'm going to make it eight inches eight inches so measure from the top get your tape from the top like that you measure eight inches you measure eight inches all around so i've already marked that on the lining okay i can still make it more visible for you so eight inches you just move your tape and you get your eight inches eight inches you do that systematically you don't want to be in a haste in a rush because it needs to be well done eight inches so once you've gotten that just make sure it's even evenly placed i'm going to get my scissors and i'm going to cut okay now once that has been done we're going to go soak so the first one i'm going to get and i'm going to sew like so okay and as i sew i pleat in now to the second one i'm going to get my flare if it does not have an opening all you need to do is get your scissors and you're going to cut that up then you're going to sew this particular one to the base of the next flare so once you do that this is what you'll get then as you're sewing this to the base you want to add this last layer as well so to this last layer we're going to add the last flare so let me do that and show you what i came up with yeah so that's the first lining you can see so i pleated it as i was stitching okay all the way to the end so now i'm going to get the second one the second flare and i'm going to place like this okay i'm going to sew round and i pleat as i go on so i'm going to get this as well the last lining okay so like that this is the right side okay right side on each other so i'm going to start sewing and i'm going to attach this to this so as i sew i'm going to be pleating this lining that is stuck that is fixed to the first one so that this one can fit into it yeah so fixed first second so if you look inside you see i pleated that so now i'm going to fold put in the last flare okay so we're going to do the same thing i'm going to open this up and with my scissors so if your flare is not opened up you can just do that so i'm going to fix this in to the last lining so as i fix that in i'm going to be pleating my lining so that it all goes in and fix the band then i come show you yeah so that's the skirt i fixed the three layers and i added the band so the band i didn't use the full one meter what i did was to make this 35 inches no 34 sorry inches long and as i stitched i pulled this to fit into the flare so what is left now is i'm going to close but i'm going to just use my overlocker and give that a clean finishing then i'm going to fold the edges of my skirt and i'm going to just run that at the back all the way to the end the both sides so once that is done okay once you close the back all the way to the end your skirt is ready